I think when a lot of people hear computational thinking, they think programming, but computational thinking is not just about programming. Computational thinking is an approach to solving problems using concepts and ideas from computer science and expressing solutions to those problems so that they can be run on a computer. You don't have to be a computer scientist to think like a computer scientist. Understanding computational thinking will give you a foundation for solving problems and will be one of the fundamental core skills in all walks of life in the 21st century. More importantly, computational thinking can be used to solve problems that have real-world social impact. For example, mapping the human genome, predicting the spread of infectious disease, coordinating disaster relief efforts, and understanding the impact of government policies. We're really excited that we're able to highlight two centers from here at the University of Pennsylvania as our case studies for this course and show how they are using computational thinking to solve the real problems that they face. So let's meet them now. Hi, I'm Erin. I'm the director of Penn's LGBT Center, and I use computational thinking to solve problems. The LGBT Center supports Penn's LGBTQ students, staff, faculty, and alumni through education, support, and advocacy. Center staff have difficulty scheduling meetings with the 27 student groups we support, and we want to make sure we can meet with all the groups in a timely fashion. Hi, I'm Cindy and I am the director of the Penn Vet Working Dog Center and I use computational thinking to solve problems. The Penn Vet Working Dog Center is a research and training facility in which we raise and train detection dogs to help save lives. Our staff have a challenge in determining which area of focus and which type of training is best suited for a new dog. We want to be able to predict if that dog can be successful, particularly in disaster search and rescue. If you've ever had an interest in approaching problems more systematically, developing more efficient solutions, and understanding how computers can be used in the problem-solving process, this course is a great starting point, even if you're not necessarily interested in programming. You'll be able to see and understand how computational thinking really can and does touch your everyday life. So let's get started.